<laughs> Oddly enough, some things work better if you do them backwards. <gasps> George and Hundley had to step outside for some fresh air. George's plan had worked. Jade's tracks went right out the door. Jade was gone. And now she had a million places to hide. Hi, George. Oh, what happened here? Oh, boy. Hey, Jade. Well, I don't know where George went, but I have to get you to the zoo. I can't be late for Professor Chroma. George knew he couldn't look everywhere for Jade. He needed a plan. In the apartment, Jade had hidden in three places. Under the couch, on top of the lamp, and behind the radiator. They were all places George couldn't reach. They were also warm places. <laughs> Maybe Jade liked to be warm. Maybe that's where George should look. <laughs> <laughs> the popcorn popper was warm. But Jade wasn't there. The vegetable barbecue also had heat, but it didn't have Jade. Was there a warm place that George had missed? had to do was put Jade back in her cage. Huh? The cage was gone. <coughs> that meant that the man had taken Squeaky to the zoo instead of Jade. <coughs> hey, George, what's the rush? <coughs> uh, sounds exciting. Well, hop on. Meanwhile, the man with the yellow hat had just finished telling the dramatic story of Jade's rescue. And now I would like to examine Jade. If she is the rare chameleon that you say, then, and only then, can she stay. Well, of course. <coughs> uh, squeaky? What was that sound? What? The squeak? Oh, um... Hey, let's all go to lunch, huh? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm starving. The chameleon, please. Show me the chameleon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> George? Hello. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, oh. Well, it's... Yes, this is the chameleon we've been hoping for. Oh, welcome, Jade, to the zoo. 